Um, what's the strangest thing you've eaten, Nathan? Oh, I bet boy. <laughs> you've eaten a lot of strange stuff. Okay, so do you know about rotten shark? No, tell me. <laughs> this is not the strangest thing. It's the second strangest thing. So there's a shark, there's a shark that lives in, it's called the Greenland shark. It lives in the North Atlantic. Uh, they fish it in Iceland. Now, sharks don't have kidneys. So sharks don't urinate. They sweat the urea out of their skin, which means that their skin is usually very full of urea, um, which means that this, particularly these, this Greenland shark, uh, the meat smells uh, either like ammonia or like the worst urinal smell you can possibly imagine. But that's not the bad part. <laughs> the bad part is it has a neurotoxin in it. Okay. Now, some desperate Icelander a thousand years ago discovered, hey, if you bury it in the sand for six months, the neurotoxin breaks down. The sand absorbs it. So what they do is there's this whole process. The, the sharks weigh over 1,000 pounds. They cut it into chunks. They bury the chunks for six months in the sand. Then they take it out. Boy, does it smell then. <laughs> then they hang it up in the open air, and it sits for a while for another six months, and it gets this really brown exterior. People think it's fermenting, but in fact, there's no microorganism will live in it. <laughs> oh my god, I've been in these aging sheds before, and again, it's this intense ammonia, urine, rotten fish smell. So that it sounds delicious. You dice it up and eat it. And you know, it's a lot better than you'd think. <laughs> but the strangest thing I ever How ate... How do they eat it, though? Do they eat it over rice or no, salad? You, or? You, you cut it into little chunks, put it on toothpicks, and just down the hatch. So it's a delicacy. What population... You had three helpings? It's actually kind of interesting. You'd think it would be slimy, but in fact, it's actually quite... It, it looks it's like hamachi. The hamachi okay. of sushi, so it's this a very light color. It's got a similar... But it's much tougher than... It's actually quite tough. So this um, is an Asian delicacy. No, this is Iceland. Oh, I see. Iceland. Iceland. Um, so, but the weirdest thing I've ever eaten is a Sardinian specialty called maggot cheese. Oh. Should, should yeah. I continue? <laughs> yes. Oh, so maggot cheese is made like a ricotta. So you, you make a, a sort of a ricotta, a little bit firmer than ricotta, uh, not as quite as firm as feta, not as much salt as, as feta. Then you let flies lay eggs on it and maggots grow. And then once it's kind of squirming with maggots, you scrape it up and you put it inside a sheep's stomach and you let it sit for three months. <laughs> Funny, this wasn't in the Talisman cookbook. <laughs> So then you cut it open, and uh, uh, you're exhorted by your Sardinian friend yes, to kind of man up and go for it. And how does that taste? Better than you think. <laughs> Better than you think. Most of the little maggot parts are all kind of distributed so that they're not quite like crawling in your mouth. Um, and it's, it's strong. It's like very, very strong cheese. It, it's, it is fairly salty. So it's like you took the strongest blue cheese you can possibly imagine and poured a lot of salt over it. In fact, there's enough salt in it that I remember when I first ate it, I thought, oh, thank God. No microorganism could survive this. <laughs> Why shouldn't 